Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Briffy Z and welcome to my vlog. There's no internet store. I'm like a zombie. Uh... So, still no internet uh, today. I uh, woke up and we they it, it's not your back, it's gone, it's nothing there. So who knows when you might guys might see this. But I have no idea what to do. Really, this is going to be turning out just like the last one, which is that I have nothing to do. Um, there's nothing really to get done or anything like that because I have no internet and I desperately need it, of course. So, there's that. But I do have one thing planned at least to do with my day, and that is we are going out. Um, I've always mentioned that I wanted to, I've been wanting to go to a Vietnamese restaurant to get some lunch, um, and that's what we're doing. Myself, my sister, and my mom are going out to go get lunch. And that's what's happening. So, uh, I guess I better be get prepared. Okay, so we went to lunch at the Vietnamese restaurant and it was great. It was quite amazing. And I've never really, um, but I didn't, kind of forgot to film it and everything. I, ne I never know what my family members are going to react with me vlogging. It's such a new thing. Our parents aren't really into the whole internet, not aware of it. So I don't really know, though my sister's kind of into it, I guess. But I don't really know how they react. So I never really felt, um, formed it with a form around family and stuff like that, especially when we're going out in public um, for it. So that's what I uh, with it. But I had a joy with Vietnam, Vietnamese food. And I think, considering that I haven't done anything today because we still don't, um, don't have internet and everything, um, and I only got internet, in fact, the internet is back. But they eventually came like late, late afternoon and got it back for us. So that's, you guys will probably be seeing the last vlog then for it, but that's what's happening, so since nothing has really happened in this vlog for me to show, I think I should chat for something, so the, the significant thing that happened today was the Vietnamese food going out for it, I think I should explain the reason why I'm so excited and why I like Vietnamese food so much, which is back in 2014, last half of 2014, I traveled, went out and traveled, I spent a month traveling London, and I spent five months traveling around the States. And the first destination I, I went, I stayed in when I was in the States was San Francisco. And in San Francisco I stayed with a couple, uh, friends of my mom's. And one half of the couple was Vietnamese. Um, so his sister uh, and his niece were staying with him. So his sister and the niece's aunt arrived with her two daughters as well. So we basically had a house full of Vietnamese people. And I think the great thing about this sister was she was a very old school kind of Vietnamese lady. Didn't speak a lot of English. Um, but for pretty much a whole week, for dinner every time, we had home-cooked Vietnamese food. And it was absolutely delicious. And the reason why this is kind of significant for me is, before I left home, I wasn't very much, very exploratory in what I ate. I knew what I kind of liked and I kind of stuck to it. I wasn't very picky with what I ate. You know, I wasn't like, oh, I only eat pizzas and stuff like that, or oh, I only eat this kind of food and stuff. I ate, but most of it was very Western food and some South African food, mostly um, pop and chakalaka and burros and things like that, poiki and you know, South African dishes and it was never anything really out there or foreign in fact, I, I didn't even really like vegetables by the time I left in London, I started eating a lot I decided that I needed to start eating healthier and stuff and since I was there in London, same with my aunt and uncle who did eat healthier food and ate salad and stuff I started eating salad and I enjoyed it, I really liked salad and in San Francisco I started, and so from there, I, already, I realized that, man, I've been missing out on a lot of stuff that I could have enjoyed by being picky. I really should have applied a philosophy when it comes to food of try it before you decide whether you like it or not. Don't just say, oh, that looks bad, or I don't like that, Ugh, throw it away. And that's what I'm doing, so I did. So I had to view these, and I loved it. There was only like one dish that I didn't really like, but besides that, I really enjoyed everything else and loved it and from then on it kind of installed with me an attitude of really kind of solidified for me of don't hate it until you've tried it because the usual thing is when it comes to food is that it's usually actually really good even if it might smell bad even if it might look not look that great so and one of the favorite dishes i had was pho um the vietnamese it's oddly enough it's spelled p-h-o but it's actually pronounced pho, or and specifically pho bo, which is the beef variety, is what I had for lunch. And it, uh, it was lovely. I had it, uh, it's divine, and it's great. And so that's where I came in with Vietnamese food, is that while I was in the States, I had a week of home-cooked Vietnamese dinners, and it was divine. It was delicious, and I fell in love with 
the cook, Vietnamese cooking and loved it. And I haven't really gone like all foodie and gone all out in it, learned how to cook it and everything like that, but it's something I really enjoy. So when I came home after all those months to South Africa, I desperately searched for like a Vietnamese restaurant and luckily I found this one which was local to us and it was only a few minutes drive away. And I've been there before with my dad and we had a great lunch there. I've been with before with um, myself by myself to have a lunch there. And this time I took my mom and my sister. Now my mom's also a bit of a picky eater, although it's not very picky. Uh, but she knows what she likes, but she also loves rice um, and, you know, Asian countries and Viet um, Asian countries and specifically this restaurant I do very well with rice. I don't know why, but I way prefer Asian style cooked rice over what is more Western style rice um, than that. So that, that, but more importantly, I wanted to take my sister along because she's also getting very picky. In fact, she's more picky than me with her food, you know, there's only this and like, so she likes, she doesn't like this, she doesn't like that, no, she doesn't like that, you know, she doesn't eat vegetables, and the thing is, I want to try and instill in her that I, what I experienced in the States when I had Vietnamese food, which was, try it, experiment, especially when it comes to food, experiment, go outside of your comfort zone, taste things, eat things, see if you like it if, or not, I mean, the worst thing is you spit it out because it's disgusting, or like you puke, but there's very few foods out there that you'll try at a restaurant that will make you go bleh and just puke. So that's what I wanted to do when I took her along, was I wanted to get Vietnamese dishes and have her try them. And so what we did, well I got pho, um, and I intended to share, but it kind of came as my own dish. My mom and my sister got a sweet and sour chicken to share. Now I wasn't too happy about that, you know, because sweet and sour chicken is kind of a classic western, westernized, very westernized Chinese or oriental dish, you know, sweet and sour sauce, chicken. I was hoping more for like, I'm um, a barbecue duck with an orange sauce, which is a little bit more um, Vietnamese to it, and authentic. But um, for, um, my, my mom didn't want to, it was more expensive, so cost-wise and all that, um, it never happened. But she got it, and she had also never tried sweet and sour chicken before, so I guess it was an experiment for her anyway, so the goals were happening. And she tried it, and unfortunately I did try it, but she, my little sister just didn't want to do it. I gave her some of the pho to try, but she had the beef, the boiled beef that was in the, pho, in the broth. Um, for those of you who don't know what pho is, it's a broth, it's a, usually um, a beef or chicken broth, with pieces of, um, slices of beef inside of it and noodles and it is and some spring onions and other um, condiments and stuff and it is divine if you ever go to a Vietnamese restaurant I highly suggest you try out far it's very delicious it's great it all usually comes in a big serving so it's very filling and I, 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 I promise you you'll love it if you ever try it so that's where I came from and she tried and she tried the noodles and she tried oh, I did say noodles or was included she tried the noodles and she tried the beef and she said oh it's not that great and stuff but where the heart of it was, which is the broth, she never tried, she, she just said, no, it smells funny or something. I don't know, she's 12, I've still got a lot of time to try and get her to try out new things and new foods. You know, I've still got to try and get her to start eating salads. Because she's getting at that age where your body can't, um, you know, she's beginning to, she's 12. So, you know, it's not going to be too long when she's into her teens. And her body starts going, yeah, I'm not going to just destroy, your, the, her metabolism is pretty much going to say, yeah, I'm not just going to destroy all that McDonald's you've eaten, there's going to be consequences to this. Um, so I will need to get her to start, I want to get her to start eating healthy and try salad and stuff. And, you know, she said, oh, she just doesn't like it, vegetables and stuff, but that was the same attitude I had. And then I started eating it and enjoying it and I found that I had been missing out all these years that I really actually do and genuinely enjoy eating salad. It's really nice. So I guess that's it. But that's kind of what happened with the Vietnamese food and it was a really good meal. Um, great rice as well. We had rice as well. Um, and so it was good to have a meal with there. Um, oh, I also tried to teach her how to use chopsticks. She had never used chopsticks before and she just couldn't. Um, but no one gets it on their first go. It takes some practice to get chopsticks right. So that's what hap oh, happened. And, but yeah, so Vietnamese food, it was great having Vietnamese again. Um, Vietnamese again, and it was great kind of taking my family with them. Uh, people who had never had their food before and uh, trying it out. Um, 
And what I'm very excited for is when I go to China as a consequence of being in China because I want to eat locally, I don't want to have just Western food, I want to try and immerse myself in it as much as possible. And it's going to be trying out Chinese food, or genuine Chinese food, not the stuff that you see in restaurants here in the West, where it's sweet and sour chicken or chow mein. I promise you, if you go over to China and order chow mein, no one will know what the fuck you're talking about. So that's what I'm very excited, half of what I'm excited for for China, is trying out new foods, new things and everything and getting acquiring new tastes and hopefully bringing them home to introduce them to my family because something I found about me and that I've been told is that for me it's not just experiencing things I love to experience things but I also love to then try and share that experience with others I love trying to bring wonderful things with people and maybe that's probably part of the personality that made me start this vlog was because I want to share my experiences and the amazing things that I've found in life with others and I want them to also do things and go whoa and just be amazed and that's something I really hope I can do with this vlog when I go to Shanghai because I don't know if you guys are like me but even though it's Shanghai, it's China, you know everyone knows Shanghai is and where, where it is but no one knows Shanghai, what are the local places, what are the restaurants like there, what kind of food do they eat there you know, it's something, even though I'm going to China, it's something I don't even know. What is it like to live there? And that's why I think where Stu is a great example of like a thing of why I love vlogs that are in different places. Because it's seeing something so different. It's seeing how other people live. And seeing how other people go about things. What's the lifestyle? What's the food like? What's the culture like? What are people's beliefs on this and that? Sorry I got cut off there, my camera battery ran out, don't know how I don't monitor these things, but my camera battery ran out, so maybe it's a sign that I should cut it off. But yeah, I love sharing experiences with things and seeing other things, and seeing how other people live, and wanting to experience it for myself, and seeing it as a way to experience the world. That for me is a great treasure, and it's the reason why I want to travel the world. I want to travel the world, I want to travel the world to see how everything else is like. I want to experience the world, I want to experience things different. And it's also one of the reasons I'm going to China, is because of something that's just so different. America was great, and London was great, but it was very much the same kind of culture, it's Western culture. I want to go to a place where something, everything is completely different. The way they go about things, their attitude towards things, their culture is completely different. And I wanted to do that. I want to experience things. I want to see everything from different points of view of, in life. And that's the reason why I want to travel and also because I want others to experience what I experience and that's the reason, half, some of the reasons I want to do this vlog. So now that we've gone from eating at a Vietnamese restaurant to why I want to travel and deep shit like that about my personality, I will also say that, like I mentioned earlier, my internet is back. They phone call after phone call after phone call, they eventually arrived late afternoon and showed up and did what they were supposed to do and reconnect us. So the other video is uploaded, this will be um, on schedule, this one will be on schedule, and it feels so good to be connected again, I've got so much work to catch up now for because of it. And that's it, but yeah, that's been my day so far, um, a great day for lunch and everything else, but, but the best thing is I am back on the internet, I'm connected again. So, thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for watching, my name is Brent Z, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.